good afternoon or uh, good evening or good morning whatever the case may be to all of you our friends around the world welcome to our health presentation and thank you for joining us again through facebook live and youtube channel we hope that you all have a great week may god continue to bless all of you but uh, before we hear uh, our speaker, we have a interesting topic today, and it's uh, astigmatism. But before Dr. Frias give our presentation, we'll sing our opening song. Good afternoon to you, our friends. Thank you so much again for being with us this uh, beautiful Sabbath afternoon. Uh, it's very beautiful here in Toronto today. Of course, it's still a little bit uh, nippy, a little bit cool, uh, a little bit cold. That's why you have to wear a thin sweater or jacket. But everything looks fine. The sun is bright. And we actually spent some time getting some sunshine again today. After lunch, there's uh, not much to do. We are, uh, we are still in a lockdown here. And I hope this, will, uh, this lockdown will finish. So we can visit you out there, our friends in the Philippines and other places, Mexico, uh, Dominican Republic. We have friends all over the place. Uh, we would, would like to visit your churches as well. But uh, for now, we have to do it this way. I believe that uh, this is, uh, is going to be it because the Bible says, uh, work out your own salvation. So we are being, uh, this is a uh, sort of a, uh, we're being uh, uh, trained now. We're being trained on how to be isolated from each other, how to be so that, because salvation is on your own, so you have to worry about it yourself. If you're a single person, you got to work on it yourself. If you're a couple, still, you can work together for your salvation, but still, it's still an individual decision. You can be separated. Uh, one go to with Jesus Christ to heaven and one don't. 
but of course that is uh, pertaining now to our uh, morning lectures but this evening we we're, we're going to talk about um, health and we have a very interesting topics topic this evening it's about uh, astigmatism uh, taking care of one of our uh, five senses and astigmatism and also eye care which is very important but before we do so i would like to invite you for a word of prayer dear god our father in heaven thank you so much again for this beautiful sabbath afternoon thank you that everything looks uh, bright there and i hope that uh, the uh, solution to this uh, covid-19 problem is also just around the corner we would like to be able to fellowship with our uh, fellow believers with our friends with our families uh without restriction so what uh, this virus their father please commanded to leave us to leave this uh, earth so that uh, we can continue uh, the lifestyle that we're doing before or the activities that we have but of course everything depends and according to your will so as long as it uh, it uh, it has some advent advantages also because people are home and they are able to listen to your messages like our message this morning very interesting it's about uh, what heaven looks like so i hope that many people will be able to see that so that they will have an imagination of how uh, heaven looks like and they can imagine themselves being there anyway we're going to have our health presentation this evening we pray that you will bless our presentation our lecture and may it uh, be may we be able to share information that will be useful for our friends forgive us from where we have fallen short of your glory i ask this favor in jesus holy name i pray amen thank you so much by the way my friends for again for being with us today now i will prepare the topic that we are going to discuss this evening I'll prepare the topic now. Okay, this is the topic that we're going to discuss this evening to talk about. It is astigmatism, a uh, problem, disease of the eye astigmatism and eye care so we'll start now what is exactly what exactly is astigmatism of the eye uh, what is the definition of astigmatism uh, astigmatism is a defect of an optical system such as it a lens causing rays from a point to fail to meet in focal point resulting in a blurred and uh, imperfect image that is astigmatism um, it is also a defect of an optical system of course it's uh, the same thing that i've read astigmatism refers to the incorrect curvature of the cornea and any vision loss uh, experience as a result astigmatism is a term uh, used for a certain irregularity in the eye a common vision condition that causes blurred vision here are some common uh, conditions one uh, here of course uh, here are very common uh, uh, 500000 cases in canada per year and treatment from medical professions are advised you cannot uh, it's hard to treat it by yourself it requires lab test or imaging it can last several days or uh, weeks family history may increase uh, likelihood of having astigmatism although astigmatism may be asym asymptomatic higher degrees of astigmatism may cause symptoms such as blurred vision Uh, double vision uh, squirting dye strain fatigue or headache those uh, those are things that 
might result from astigmatism. Some research has pointed to the link between astigmatism and higher prevalence of migraine headaches. So it could also be caused by, uh, if you have migraine, you could also have astigmatism. The goal of treating astigmatism is to improve vision, uh, clarity and eye comfort. Treatments are corrective lenses or refractive uh, surgery. Astigmatism, overview. Astigmatism, common and generally treatable imperfection in the curvature of your eye that causes blurred uh, distance and near vision. Astigmatism is a condition in which your eye isn't completely round. Almost all of us have it to some degree. Ideally, an eyeball is uh, shaped like a perfectly round ball. Light comes into it and bends evenly, which gives you a clear view. But if your eye is shaped uh, uh, differently, uh, might, uh, is, is not in a uh, perfect shape, then it might have some problem. Uh, astigmatism symptoms can include blurry vision, distorted, uh, distorted uh, vision, things look uh, wavy or uh, off, discomfort and reading on a computer or point uh, will give you some problems. It has, uh, it gives you all, it could give you also double vision, eye strain and discomfort, headaches, difficulty with night vision and squinting. Astigmatism is diagnosed by an eye exam. A complete eye exam involves a series of tests to check your eye health and a re refraction, uh, which determines how your eye bend, uh, eyes bend light. Your eye doctor may use various instruments. They aim bright lights directly at your eyes and ask you to look through several lenses. Your doctor uses this uh, uh, test uh, when you go to him for uh, astigmatism examination. What are the causes of this uh, kind of uh, eye defect? It is caused due to the irregularity, irregularly shaped uh, cornea. The transparent layer of issues uh, of tissue, I mean, at the front of the eye or lens which is a clear structure inside the eye that changes its shape to focus on objects. Due to this irregular shape of cornea, light rays in uh, entering the eye are not focused properly, creating a blurred image. Astigmatism may be present from birth uh, develop, it could be developed after the eye in, an eye injury. It could be an eye disease or any eye or any eye surgery. Maybe you go for an eye surgery, then you could develop astigmatism. If left untreated, the following complications can occur. One is called amblyopia, a condition where Impaired or dim vision without any obvious defect is observed. Uh, you don't observe any defect, but you will have a dim vision. Two, uh, permanent vision problem. And three, a poor deep perception. So this could be the uh, causes uh, if uh, it is not corrected uh, properly, if untreated, that is, your eyes could uh, resort into those things that I've mentioned. It is caused due to irregularity shaped uh, cornea. The transparent layer of tissue at the front of the eye or lens, which is a clear structure inside the eye that changes the shape to focus on objects. Due to the irregular shape of the cornea, light rays entering the eye are not focused properly creating a blurred image. It could be present, as I mentioned, 
uh, you could it could be hereditary as well. It could be a result of eye injury and of course uh, whatever maybe a uh, kind of surgery in the eye. If uh, so, uh, the, it could cause uh, those uh, the problems that I mentioned. Now, here, yeah. what is uh, we have already defined astigmatism. It's a common type of refractive error. It is uh, a condition in which the eye does not focus light evenly onto the retina. The light sensitive tissue of the back of the eye. What is refraction? Refraction is the bending of light as it passes through one object to another. Vision occurs when light rays are bent, refracted as they pass through the cornea and the lens. The light is then focused on the retina. The retina converts the light rays into messages that are sent through the optic nerve to the brain. The brain interprets these messages into the images that we see. How does astigmatism occur? Astigmatism occurs when light is bent differently depending on where it strikes the cornea and passes through the eyeball. The cornea of the normal eye is uh, curved like a basket uh, basketball with the same degree of uh, roundness in all areas an eye with, uh, with astigmatism has a cornea that is curved more like a football with uh, some areas that are steeper or more rounded than others uh, this can cause images to appear blurry and stretch out uh, what is the risk of astigmatism? Astigmatism can affect both children and adults. Some parents with slight astigmatism will not notice much change in their vision. It is important to have eye examination at regular intervals in order to detect any astigmatism early uh, on the children. So even the small children, it is but a good idea for the parent to uh, have their eyes checked even at an early age so they can uh, uh, detect uh, if that uh, child has astigmatism and they can start uh, correcting the problem at an early age. What are the signs of uh, uh, signs and symptoms of astigmatism? Here are some signs and symptoms. They include the following. Uh, one is headache. They could have a, a frequent headache or eye strain when you're trying to see something you try hard because you cannot really an analyze what that uh, thing is or it could be a letter uh, squinting uh, distorted and blurred vision at all distances all distances uh, blurred vision difficulty driving at night why because when you look at the light the light sort of uh, it's sort of uh, broken. It doesn't so look so solid. Uh, it looks like a, an egg when it's, it's, uh, when you throw an egg. It's um, it's it just not it, it, uh, the light does not it not does not form properly. It's like a broken glass or you know broken image. If you if you experience any of these symptoms. Visit your eye care professional if you wear glasses or contact lenses and still have these uh, issues, a new prescription might be needed for you. How is astigmatism diagnosed? Yeah, astigmatism is usually found during a comprehensive dilated eye exam. Being aware of any changes in your vision is important it can help in detecting any common vision problems if you notice any changes in your vision visit your eye care or professional for a comprehensive dilated eye examination uh, we have to take care of our eyes because if you damage the eyes what a terrible kind of life would it be if you cannot see 
uh, uh, anything around you. Can you can you have astigmatism and not know it? Yes, it is possible to have mild astigmatism and not know about it. This is especially true for children who are not aware of their vision being other than normal. Some adults may also have mild astigmatism without any symptom. It is important to have comprehensive dilated eye exam to make sure that you are seeing your best. How is uh, astigmatism corrected? Astigmatism can be corrected with eyeglasses, contact lenses, and refractive surgery. Uh, individual lifestyle affect the way astigmatism is treated. Eyeglasses are the simplest and safest way to correct astigmatism. Your eye care professional will prescribe appropriate lenses to help you see as clearly as possible. Contact lenses work by becoming the first refractive surface for the light rays entering the eye, causing a more precise refraction or focus. In many cases, contact lenses provide clearer vision, a wider field of vision, and greater comfort. They are a safe and uh, effective option if fitted and used properly. It is very important to wash your hands and clean your lenses as instructed in order to reduce the risk of infection. If you have a certain eye condition, you may not be able to wear contact lenses. Discuss the matter with your eye care professional. Refractive surgery aims to change the shape of the cornea permanently. This change in the eye shape restores the focusing power of the eye by allowing the light rays to focus precisely on the uh, retina for improved vision. There are many types of refractive surgeries. Your eye care professional can help you decide if surgery is an option for you. So for more information about refractive errors and eye health, you can visit this one, www.neinihgov.gov slash health, uh, healthy, yes, healthy, yeah, yes. Anyway, quite a long email. Anyway, um, neutralizing as surgically induced astigmatism have been the whole uh, holy grail of surgeon and uh, scientists alike. As vision restoring ophthalmic uh, microsurgery and evolves towards predictable outcomes, uh, it becomes all the more necessary to understand uh, postoperative quality of vision. The aim is to achieve the best quality of uh, post-surgical and aided vision. During the uh, live web, uh, webinar, during a live webinar, this live webinar, we discuss astigmatism and health and disease uh, and uh, means to overcome it. How do you prevent astigmatism? Prevention. Some astigmatism is often associated with nearsightedness and farsightedness. You may take better care of your eyes to prevent astigmatism. Uh, follow a good uh, diet to, to keep your eyes healthy. There are some simple eye exercises that you can perform to keep the eye muscles healthy. One of them is turning your eyes around, uh, looking at different angles. Can you improve astigmatism naturally? Let us look at what we can do to avoid ocular stress exercise. When you are working at a computer, reading or doing other uh, fine detailed work. 
uh, make sure that you take the blink. You take, you should take the blink. Seriously, uh, blinking is important. This problem is when you are focused on a computer screen and other detail. Uh, if you're on a computer screen, sometimes you focus, you're so focused on what you are trying to read or looking at and your eye dry up and that's not good. That's why you have to blink every time so that your eye continue to be wet. Uh, astigmatism is diagnosed by an eye exam. A complete eye exam involves a series of tests to check your eye health and a refraction, which determines how your eye bend light. Your eye doctor may use various instruments, uh, aim bright lights directly to your eyes and ask you to look through several lenses. Your doctor uses this test to examine different aspects of your eye and vision and to determine uh, the prescription that he uh, will decide to give you. Some most causes of astigmatism are related to congenital defects in the eye structure. There is little that can be done to prevent the con this condition. It can also be very difficult to prevent the changes that naturally occur in the curvature of the, your cornea. On the other hand, you can uh, protect your eyes from undue injuries and strain that may trigger astigmatism. Since astigmatism is when associated with near sightedness and farsightedness, you may take better care of your eyes uh, to prevent astigmatism. Follow, follow a good diet to keep your eyes healthy. There are some simple eye uh, exercises that you can perform to keep your eye muscles healthy. If you work for long hours in front of a computer or uh, position in front of a TV screen for long durations, take frequent breaks and rest your eye from time to time. This will prevent drying of the eyes. So as I mentioned, drying of the eyes, uh, if your eyes are dry, that is one way of uh, developing this uh, kind of disease. Uh, there are two main instruments for astigmatism. Uh, the, gay, the goal is both this instrument is to correct the vision by addressing the cause of the blurredness and even curvature. Now here are uh, the treatments. I'm not instrument, I mean two treatments. One is corrective lenses. Uh, wearing corrective lenses may may treat astigmatism efficiently. Corrective lenses can counter the abnormal size of the eyes or the uneven curvature of the cornea. There are two types of corrective lenses which can be used for this purpose. Uh, the first are the eyeglasses, which are most commonly used. These lenses can compensate for the unevenness of the shape of the eyes and can correct other vision problems such as nearsightedness and farsightedness. In case you are not too keen in getting eyeglasses, you can also get a contact lens which can be worn on the cornea. There's a large variety of these lenses available and can, use, can be used for, uh, for it. Uh, from hard to soft, disposal and extended wear lenses, depending on your preference, budget and doctor's prescription. Your ophthalmologist may be able to indicate the advantages and disadvantages of glasses and contact lenses. Now, refractive uh, surgery. Refractive surgery, this is a treatment for astigmatism in which the eye is reshaped and the curvature of the cornea is restored. There are several methods of refractive surgery and the most common of them is the LASIK surgery. This is a laser yeah, assisted surgery in which a doctor uses a special instrument known as keratomy 
to cut into the cornea and sculpt it into the proper shape. Uh, photorefractive surgery or photorefractive keratotomy is another method. Uh, in this uh, surgical procedure, the surgery, the surgeon attempts to remove the outermost layer of the cornea. This is done with the help of the uh, eczema laser. This procedure effectively changes the curvature of the, the cornea and improves uh, sight. Just like the elastic surgery, there is also the elastic, uh, uh, there is also the elastic surgery, uh, uh, the both surgery, uh, laser surgery. Uh, laser assisted uh, subcipital keratum uh, meliosis in the surgery is a thin layer of cornea uh, is curved and folded back. This not only adjusts the curvature of the cornea, but also makes the eyes less vulnerable to physical injury. Uh, for those who are at high risk of sustaining eye injuries or those who have a very uh, thin cornea, LASIK is the uh, ideal, uh, is, is the ideal, I mean, uh, choice of surgery. In the past, it is a uh, similar surgery was used to con con connect astigmatism. However, this procedure is no longer used in light of better surgical procedures such as LASIK. So they're both la called LASIK, but one is L-A-S-I-K and the other one is L-A-L-E-L-A-S-A-E-K. -E so both uh, are term LASIK. Now, symptoms, uh, we've uh, mentioned about that, symptoms of defective vision. Begins with blurred vision and far off objects. Myopia begins with blurred vision, particularly with regard to far off objects. The backboard of the school, the uh, screen on a camera hall or TV screen may look uh, blurred and the, uh, to the eyes and the sufferer may start wearing uh, or watering due to the strain of the eyes. Uh, another symptom is itching and heaviness in the eye. Uh, there may be itching and heaviness in the eyes and the patient may suffer, that the patient may suffer from a mild headache. Causes of defective vision. It causes mental strain and uh, wrong food habits and improper blood and nerve supply. The three chief causes of myopia are uh, mental strain, wrong food habits, and improper blood and nerve supply. Mental strain puts a corresponding physical strain on the eyes and their muscles and nerves. Reading in the dim light or, or glaring light is also bad for the eyes. Other causes of the eyes are uh, reading in the dim light or also uh, in the glaring light. It also damage, it could damage your eyes. Uh, defective vision, the treatment using trifal or trifala. This uh, famous iodinic, Ayurvedic, I mean, preparation is considered beneficial in the treatment of myopia. The preparation consists of three uh, myobalians, namely umbilical myobalian, Indian rosemary, uh, chibolic myobalian, and Bellini my, myobalian. A decoction of the preparation should be made by mixing 30 grams of trifalia in half in the liter of water and should be taken by mouth and also used 
for wa watching the uh, for washing the eyes uh, twice a day. This will bring good results if continued for some months. Also, defective uh, vision treatment using liquid. Another effective uh, uh, remedy for myopia is licorice. A half a teaspoon of, of powder of the root mixed with equal quality of honey and half the quantity of classy, clarified, clarified but, butter should be given twice daily with a cup of milk on an empty stomach for the investment of the condition. For the treatment of the condition, I'm sorry. The light here is very bright. It could might affect my eyes too. Defective vision treatment using chicory. Chicory could also treat it. Uh, this herb, oh boy. Oh, maybe. Okay. This herb, uh, chicory, or uh, in in uh, in dive is extremely valuable in defective vision due to myopia. It contains food shipments which are constantly needed by the optic system. It is one of the richest source of vitamin A, which is a very use, which is very useful for the eye. The addition of uh, juices of carrot, celery, and parsley to chicory juice uh, makes it a very highly nourishing food for the optic nerves and the muscular system. It can bring amazing results in correcting eye defects. Half a liter of uh, to one liter of this combination taken daily has frequent corrective eyes troubles in the course of a few months corrected to the extent uh, that it becomes, uh, it gives normal vision later on. So, wow, uh, chicory can also be used. Natural and, uh, and cooked foods which include fresh uh, fruits are very important also for a treatment for the eyes. Natural, natural and cooked food are the best diet for defective vision. Uh, these foods include fresh fruits such as oranges, apples, grapes, uh, peaches, plums, cherries, uh, green vegetables like lettuce, cabbage, spinach, and uh, turnip tops, uh, root vegetables like uh, potatoes, uh, thumb, th turnips, carrot, onions, and uh, beetroots. Uh, beetroots, yeah. Uh, nuts, dried fruits, and fairly and uh, dairy products. Cereals are also necessary, but they should only be consumed sparingly. Uh, genuine whole milk, uh, whole meat bread or whole, whole meal bread is the best and most suitable. Genuine whole, whole wheat, uh, whole meal, I'm sorry, whole meal, whole meal br uh, bread. Avoid jams, avoid coffee, avoid white bread, avoid meat, and avoid eggs. If you would like your eyes to last long and if you'd like to take care of your eyes. Now, a suggestion for defective vision treatments. One is sun gazing. The object should sit on a bench facing the rising sun with the eyes closed and gently sway sideways several times for 10 minutes. Uh, he should then open the eyes and blink about uh, 10 times at the sun 
and look at some greenery. So that's one way. Look at the, uh, uh, you face the sun, but with closed eyes. And then you open this, uh, the eyes uh, just for a few moments, I look at the sun, and then you should uh, blink about 10 times at uh, the sun and look at some greenery after a while. Uh, splashing. A uh, plain cold, uh, cold water would be splashed several times over closed eyes. These uh, closed lids should then be rubbed briskly for a minute with a clean towel. This uh, cools the eyes and boosts blood supply. So splashing cold water in the eyes also. Uh, that's fantastic. That could be easy. And swinging. The subject should stand with his feet uh, 12 inches apart, 12 inches apart. Hands and held loose at the sides. This whole body and uh, mid relax. He should uh, sway his body from side to side, sway it side to side, gently, slowly, and steadily. And the heels uh, rising alternatively. The heels rising alternatively, going like that, but not the rest of the foot. The movement may be uh, likened to the show moving of the pendulum of a clock, uh, swinging should be done in front of a window or a picture so that the window or picture appears to be moving in the opposite direction of the uh, swing. When facing one and the window or object, the support should be, uh, should blink twice. So that's another way, swinging with two hands, 12, inches apart. So anyway, you can copy it there. I have it. Thanks to you. Six simple ways to take better care of your eyes. Here are simple ways on how to take care of your eyes. Uh, one, take control or take contract contacts out before you shower, before you swim, and otherwise get what uh, uh, or before you get water into your face. So if you're wearing contact lenses, remove them before you jump in the water or before you wash your face. Number two, uh, wear safety glasses when you have a home improvement project. If you're working, trying to be a carpenter in your home, you better wear uh, protective glasses, safety glasses, because something could uh, fly to your eyes and you could be blind permanently. I think I should buy one, I don't have one. And I like working outside uh, the backyard. So maybe I should buy one soon. Uh, even with a simple stop, because uh, sometimes those are, I was trying to hit a nail one time, it went to my head. Of course, it, uh, it's, it hurt me slightly, but what happened if it went to the eyes? Okay. Number three, see an eye doctor at least every two years or more frequently if necessary. Anything, if you have pain in your eye, if you have some, your eye seems to be stressed out or some blurry vision or itchiness in your eye, you see uh, your eye doctor. And uh, pamper your eyelids with a warm compress every day. So you get a warm compress, warm towel and pamper your eyes every day, maybe before you sleep. Eat a balanced diet. Make sure that, of course, the same diet that is uh, for good health. Uh, get away from white, white uh, foods, white rice, get, uh, get rid of uh, sugar, uh, salt, and uh, Stay away from meat if possible. I eat a lot of green vegetables and so on. Well, we have lectures on that. Eat a balanced diet. Wear your sunglasses even when it is cloudy and freezing. So if there's a bright sunlight, sometimes even if 
it's uh, cold during snowy weather, the sun is still bright. And uh, so do not look at the sun uh, directly, just wear your sunglasses to protect your eyes. And wear your, uh, of course. And uh, so those are six ways on how to take care of your eyes. Now here's another one. How to know if uh, the pimple in your eyelid is actually a sty? Sometimes you have something uh, that comes out of your eyelid. It's itchy or it's painful, and you don't know if it's a, a tie, a tie or a pimple. Here, let me read this to you. Uh, what people typically call a tie is what ophthalmologists know as either a collation uh, or hordilium or diolum. While these terms both sound like something you'd catch during a Pokemon, a Pokemon Go session, they're not nearly as much fun. A chalasium, chalasium is a firm ball on the eyelid that doesn't look inflamed and doesn't tend to be painful. Uh, uh, like uh, a hordilum is also a hard spear, but appears like a pimple on the eyelid but it is typically inflamed, irritated, and painful or tender. Sometimes the symptoms can signal that the bump has become infect infected, especially if they do not get better or actually get worse even uh, after treatment. So you have to watch out when this thing uh, appears in your eyes, you gotta go have your doctor uh, check it. So what causes is time? Uh, the eyelid bumps are similar to pimples, but with one major difference. While pimples can happen around your eye, if you're dealing with what looks like a pimple directly in the eyelid, especially on your last line, and uh, where uh, or night underneath or right underneath uh, it. Acne probably isn't your issue. A sty is not really a pimple because pimples on the face form different glands, forming different glands. These are specialized eyelid glands. So chalasia and hordiola both occur when the meibomian glands on your eyelid get clogged. So if you get clogs, meibolmian glands make oil, which is uh, really important because it helps you uh, tear film and uh, not evaporate so quickly. Pretty much anything that causes itchiness, irritation or inflammation in the area can increase your livelihood of clogging this glands and then getting a sty or eyelid on your eyelid. Okay, uh, the best way to, to, to treat a sty. Treating a sty isn't the same as treating acne. While acne uh, treatment might include everything from medication to tropical agenda or agents, I'm sorry. Getting rid of the sty usually requires a gentler approach. Warm compresses uh, with the chalasia and hordiola. Warm compresses are a mainstay of treatment. She suggested getting a gel eye mask. You can microwave, you can put it in a microwave to avoid burning, burning your eyelid. They should feel warm to the touch, but not too hot to hold in your hand. Make some, uh, make sure to put a clean towel over the mask and wipe it down before the before placing it over your eye bump, eyelid bump. Dr. Glass recommends during a warm compress four to five times daily for at least five days to uh, at least five minutes 
to uh, to 10 minutes at a time once you start doing warm compresses you should notice a difference within a couple of days so that's uh, how you take care of your uh, how you treat a tie go easy on makeup and skin care go easy don't uh, don't apply it uh, you have to avoid your eyes and uh, if it comes back if the problem comes back you go see a doctor uh, 12 foods that can dramatically improve your eyesight okay remember these kinds of food that you should eat if you would like to have good eyesight because you, our eyes are very important without the eyes it will be a terrible life and uh, sometimes you could go blind if you do not take care of your eyes even if you already have a good one one kale is a good food to eat uh you can blend it if you like spinach uh, corn is good for the eyes egg yolks you know uh, egg yolk is good for the eye uh, citrus fruit like oranges is good for the eyes uh, broccoli is good for the eyes uh, acerolo cherries is good for the eyes papaya is good for the eyes berries such as uh, bill berries is good for the eyes and uh, legumes uh, legumes here are uh, photos of uh, legumes nuts nuts you can see them there okay different kinds of nuts walnut source uh, they're, they're a good source of protein and so on and uh, green peas here lentils black eyed uh, peas green peas and green beans are a great source of zinc which helps our bodies absorb the absorb the nutrients and vitamins legumes are also a great source of protein and then nuts so legumes are those things the uh, green beans okay black beans black eyed uh, peas green peas and so on nuts are also good and then supplements the bottom line from the obvious information we can say that a healthy lifestyle is one of the best ways to help uh, us maintain healthy bodies and good eyesight so they are all correlated to each other you know a healthy body will give you a healthy eye it will give you a healthy heart a healthy lungs a healthy liver a healthy kidney a healthy and everything but uh, um, bad uh, lifestyle lack of exercise sitting too much uh, not exercising those are bad habits it's also it could also affect different parts of your body. So consuming fresh and nutritious food is a great way to a healthier lifestyle. But because we don't always have adequate access to fresh vegetables and fruit, it may not always be the most effective way. Incorporating a high quality supplement into your daily routine are a great way to make sure you are getting the nutrients that your body needs. I think that's it for our lecture today. I hope you have uh, you enjoyed the lecture. I hope you have learned something. Uh, you know, I enjoy giving these lectures because I am also learning a lot myself. Uh, and some of these subjects are not, uh, I know they are, you know, some of them are familiar to me by name, but I don't really know much of it. So when I do research for it in order to prepare it so I could share them with you. I also learn a lot. I learn a lot myself and I practice them. That's why I decided to give these lectures also for my self-interest. And uh, it, it is making us healthier also. And it is making life, you know, when you are healthy, everything seems to be nice. You can enjoy everything. You can enjoy your food, you can enjoy your sleep, you can enjoy everything that you do. You can go enjoy walking, you can enjoy 
it's uh, wholesome, it's fantastic. So I will encourage you, my friends, to try to maintain a healthy lifestyle so that you will have also a fantastic, uh, uh, what you call, an abundant life, a life full of blessings. And uh, a healthy lifestyle, it's a blessing from God. Remember what God said? We have taken this up in one of our lectures. God said, if you obey my commandments, he said, I will bless your food and I will even take sickness away from you. So uh, one way to have a healthy lifestyle is to read your Bible, go over the commandments of God and obey it. Uh, but remember also, a good lifestyle includes, uh, remember the word new start. N is for nutrition. E is for exercise. Uh, w is for water. S is for sunshine. And uh, T is for temperance. You should be temperate and everything. And then A is for air. R is for rest. Obey God's commandment. Every Saturday you should rest. Make the day holy for the Lord. Uh, because it gives you some time to really uh, contemplate on him, on how great he is for creating you and creating all the beauties around you, your family and everything. And you're looking forward to seeing him, to seeing him and more sorry when he comes. And T is for trust in God. If you trust God, your creator, you read the manual that he gave you in order for you to learn how to take good care of your body, then you know that not only will you be enjoying a fantastic, a good life here on earth, but he will also give you a reward of everlasting life, uh, a kind of life where you will not taste that anymore. That is fantastic. Okay, my friends, I'm going to uh, see if we can uh, close our uh, program here with a closing song. Let me see. Uh, we have sung Come the Font of Every Blessing. So, well, let us sing this uh, Seeking the Lost. Let's invite our singers to sing a beautiful song entitled Seeking the Lost. Uh, this is a button.
Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that uh, beautiful uh, music, beautiful song. We're so happy that uh, our friends can provide us all these songs, our brothers and sisters in faith across the border. I uh, hope that you have uh, uh, enjoyed our lecture this evening. And before we close, uh, I would like to invite you uh, for a word of prayer. Uh, dear God, our Father in heaven, thank you so much that we were able to convene together again uh, to have this uh, study about astigmatism and how to take care of our eyes. Our eyes are very important for us, dear Father, so please help us be able to uh, maintain them, uh, to make them uh, active and strong. Uh, we need these eyes to be able to drive carefully as we go on the road, uh, especially those who have to go out to work. And we need these eyes to read information that uh, information from you, from the Bible, and also information that we can share to other people. Uh, so we need these eyes all the time to recognize our friends and everything, the beauty of nature, and so on. So help us to be able to take good care of this, these eyes, and uh, please make our, our, our eyes healthy. That was also a, a great song, the song that we have, uh, that was just sung. Seeking the lost. Uh, dear Father, as we have always uh, learned from your scriptures, we will all lost because of sin. But thank you for your love because you continue to seek us. You would like to save us. And we are all predestined to be saved. But you have given us a power to choose whether to accept that invitation of yours uh, because we are predestined to be saved. But because of sin, we will all lost. But you gave us an invitation that if we come to you, repent from our sins and obey you and follow your commandments and walk in faith with you, you will uh, give us eternal life instead of eternal death. Uh, dear Father, we pray that you will continue to help us, keep us uh, healthy also, because good health and good spirits and uh, if we are in good health, I mean, we could always uh, think clearly to serve you better as long as we live. Oh, we pray, dear Father, that you will continue to help us maintain good health. Uh, help us maintain a good balanced life under your care. A mind, body, and spirit mentally connected with you, to you, I mean, uh, spiritually connected to you and physically connected to you. We ask now that uh, you give us your blessings intended for us today as we separate from each other. I ask this favor in Jesus' holy name, I pray. Amen. Thank you so much again, my friends. And as I mentioned, I have now with today's lecture, I think I have now 163, 164 videos in YouTube. Go to YouTube, visit YouTube, and you can choose the topic that you want. You would like to know about who Jesus Christ is. Why should you believe in Jesus Christ? Uh, where do dead people go after they're buried? Everything about that. Uh, you can find all the topics that you need. So uh, a lot of your question, if you haven't read the Bible uh, yet, you would be able to get a lot of information there. And if even if you have read the Bible, uh, sometimes, uh, if we are not really attuned yet in our Christian life, it might be hard to, for us to understand. But uh, with those explanations and those lectures and the sermons that are given there in the YouTube, it would be easy for you because uh, I'm not trying to raise myself, but a lot of people tell me that uh, my simple, uh, sermons are very simple, very easy to understand. They're very practical. So if you just listen to them, and I have the information, the notes in the screen. So if you have any doubt, you can refer to them in your uh, Bible. The Bible is the same uh, and so on. Basically, you can find all those texts in any kind of Bible and it will tell you the same thing. 
So, um, seek the word of God. We spend a lot of money trying to get an education in order to learn how to take care of our lives for about 70, 80, maybe 100 years. But we are not putting any time to study how to take care of, how to make our body live forever. And that is taught only in one book. You don't have to go to university for four years. Within one year, uh, if you are even a few months, you can read the whole Bible and so on. And if you don't understand all of it, you read it again over and over. And you listen to these uh, teachings that are being shared uh, in Facebook as well as in YouTube. Go visit my YouTube. Uh, just uh, uh, go to the YouTube channel, look for Noel Frias. You'll see my photo there. And then click subscribe. That is also one way of helping our ministry. And click also notification bell. You probably have to spend about three or four minutes watching first so that uh, your registration will stick in it and it will be there uh, and so on. So please support us with your uh, subscribing in our YouTube channel. Uh, we only I only registered in YouTube last June, but I think we have already uh, more than 200 subscribers. And with your help, with your support, we will have more. So go support us. And I want you to know that we love you. We care for you. We are always praying for you. And we will have to separate from each other now. I will uh, say goodbye now. But we're looking forward to seeing you again next week. Saturday morning at 10 and in the evening at 7 for our health lecture. Good night.